Now something I'm going to do while I'm in here, I decided. Uh, I ordered some LEDs. I don't think I'm going to put them in until I verify this Phantom works, but I'm going to go ahead and prepare this Phantom for a possible future future uh, battery addition. Now what I'm going to do, uh, you know, I still have uh, got to solder the motors up, but what I'm going to do is pull this back out real quick, the four bolts. And as you'll see, there's red wires and black wires down in here. They're bigger than anything else in the Phantom. You'll notice it, but I'm going to actually... Um, solder in some additional wire which i have roll over here here and then i got a black roll just like this i'm going to uh, wire an additional connector in there using xt60 connectors that's a common type connector on uh, phantoms and everything well not phantoms but you know batteries quad stuff um but i'm going to wire uh, those out to ex externally through the bottom of the case uh, about right here Actually, I'm sorry, on the other side. But it's going to come out about right here on both sides. That way I can add additional batteries in the future. Now, I, you don't have to use those. This is just purely something I want to do. It's not necessary. But uh, all the thing I'm going to do is just solder. Uh, there's two wires on each side. Uh, the battery hooks to that board, and it comes out both sides. It feeds both sides of the motors. Um, so I'm going to actually make them a parallel circuit, connect them together, and then run one connection out the side. So that's what I'm going to do. I hope it works out. Uh, worst case scenario, I've got to go back in and take it apart. But as of right now, I'm, I'm hoping it'll work. 